So hello, welcome to a new video. It's the first one of the year. Um, so I uh, hope you have a good uh, 2024. Um, this is not really a ride video, more um, I need some input video. So I'm preparing for next year to provide you with more um, videos. And um, I want to improve, of course. So one of the things I'm trying is to see if I can make the camera movable and with movable I mean that you can move it to the left and to the right so I made a new uh, mount for my bicycle so that uh, I do 3d printing and um, so that I can uh, rotate it in an uh, easy way and um, I decided to put this online so that you can provide me with some feedback on which one you prefer I recorded them on two separate days and um, Two different mounts in a way so there are some weirdness in the comparison but um, yeah if you can provide me feedback that would be nice um, so there's two things we are looking for so I can uh, basically on my uh, steering um, bar so the, the the part where normally your your light would be connected uh, I can now sort of rotate the camera to the left in the middle and to the right and um, the camera allows me to uh, do two options either uh, automatically balance uh, the horizon which you can see on one of the videos in this case the left one and uh, it will always be the left one and on the right side uh, is the old mode that i was using and that was uh, that it has to be just straight and it had as an advantage that if i go through a corner you can side kind of see me um, move over if that makes sense you can kind of see me bend over but uh, of course or not of course but the way that the camera is connected and the steering arm uh, the bar is not totally uh, straight uh, that means that it yeah it acts kind of uh, droops down and in a weird angle when i use that mode so um yeah i've just want to know which one you prefer uh, if it is a nice added feature um, for compared to the videos uh, this year um, so it's about 15 minutes and I'm moving the camera around there's a second thing that you uh, might notice is that uh, the construction is not perfect yet so uh, on both of the trips the camera uh, drops down at times and I have to uh, yeah, prop it up with my hand I will make a new one that doesn't do that but it also means that you can clearly see the effects of what happens if the, the the horizon is in the middle which is kind of on the full frame now it's almost in the middle uh, or if it is aiming more up or down and um, maybe I should explain uh, let's say more of a movie rule um, almost all of the movies that you see uh, on TV uh, or in the movie theater are made in such a way that uh, the horizon is kind of in the lower third of your picture so if you're hanging up a, a television or a big projector you kind of should also aim your eyes in the lower third of the picture uh, in a on a 16 by 9 uh, screen that's the most natural because most of the movies are shot that, uh, that way um, so that's what I was also aiming for but you can already see that uh, the camera is uh, sagging down at uh, times and yeah that uh, will be fixed in the final version but you can sort of see what the effect is that means that um, if it aims down it also looks we are going uh, we are speeding up we are going faster because we see more of the ground moving especially on this uh, wide uh, angle uh, sort of uh, camera of course the reason I'm doing this uh, is in both of them now you can see the difference um, but you see when we are passing the bridge that we because I cannot aim the camera about 45 degrees um, to the left and to the right uh, that we can sort of show you more of the environment so in this case I aimed it uh, to the water or I can aim it to uh, let's say some nature when we are passing and that's the reason I'm trying to uh, come up with this um, there's also another thing you see on the left one which is the stabilized one um, so this is the not stabilized one and you see that we are kind of uh, crooked well, or is it a stabilized one? I think this is a stabilized one um, but um, uh, what do I want to say uh, I think on, on, on the one that if we are aiming forward 
I actually, because I'm always, of course, riding on the right side of the bike, uh, single part, uh, that it always looked a little bit crooked anyway. Uh, so the nice thing about this movable construction that I can actually sort of aim it a little bit to the right where it looks um, that we are more in the middle of the road. I hope this kind of makes sense. Um, yeah. So yeah, tell me uh, again, tell me what you think. Of course, I'm also looking myself on uh, things like sharpness. So one of the mounts, the one from yesterday, um, moved a little bit more. So I think uh, that's why it's a little bit less sharp. Um, I don't think that's the, the balancing uh, part itself. But I will test that uh, further. So this is a good example when we are uh, standing uh, fixed at this traffic light. I will turn the cameras uh, uh, in a second uh, the boat in the same direction. And you can kind of see the difference, right? One of them, uh, the, the right one, the camera is sort of leaning down simply because of the way that it's uh, rotating. While the other one, the camera automatically uh, uh, adds the balance to it. And I also think because we are not, um, when we are going down to the corner, like in this way, it almost looks like we are bicycling more upright and you don't see me leaning into a corner. Which might be, um, I kind of dislike that personally, but um, I think the advantages, so in this case, again, I'm looking to the left on both of the cameras, oh sorry, to the right on both of the cameras. You can clearly see that because we hardly see um, much of the bike path. And we are clearly seeing the buildings. And that's not possible in the old setup. So I do think it adds uh, a, a, a lot of value. And it's um, a tiny bit of work for me to move the camera. But um, if I take my hand off the, off the steering wheel, it's kind of uh, pretty close to, um, let's say, the, the middle of your steering uh, bar and then about 10 centimeters down. So it's quite easy to uh, move it to the left and to the right, and I don't think it will be a, um, a problem. So here you can clearly see um, what happens if the camera is uh, is aiming to one side. So on the right, sorry, the left, you can now see what happens if I kind of aim the camera 10 deg degrees to the, uh, the right. Now I'll do it fully, uh, because it looks more in the middle where the uh, uh, you see in the left and the right sometimes my uh, brake uh, uh, pedals coming in. Um, which of course I will figure out how far I can turn it without getting them into the picture. But here you can clearly see the difference both in that what happens if the horizon is sort of wrong because clearly on the right side uh, the camera is uh, dropping down and it will probably uh, move it up in a few seconds by pushing it by my hand. Uh, I will probably make it in a fixed way so that it can't move anymore uh, for that uh, up and down. But you can also see what the effect is if the camera is sort of not aimed correctly uh, in, in my view at least. Of course I had to uh, cut some of the video parts simply to uh, line them up again. Again, one I did yesterday when it was uh, a little bit colder, but today it was a little bit wetter. So the stabilized I did yesterday and um, the, let's say the, the not stabilized, so the right one. I would stabilize, I mean the horizon stabilized. Uh, is the I did today. It's clearly more raining. Both days it's now about, um, it just stopped uh, freezing, so it was uh, quite wintry in the last uh, week or so. So the last few days I could bike again. Uh, but it's still a few degrees above freezing. You can clearly see the difference, and again, if the road is kind of starting in the middle, um, then of course we are looking quite far, further than you think, I would uh, suggest to your left in this case. And only when I move the camera, we can kind of see how far um, of a difference in picture it actually gives.
Of course I will listen to your input and also that's the reason why I didn't put any overlays on this video. It's more like, hey, please provide me with input. Um, because it would uh, kill some of the uh, parts of the video and I could not check it. You can also see that on uh, one of the cameras there's a little bit of water because it was quite misty, it was cold. So I only did about uh, 200 kilometers uh, this month so far, I think. Um, of course January is not uh, the most uh, biking uh, month. The good news that last uh, last year I did 10,000 kilometers. I made that uh, deadline. I was aiming for 10,000 kilometers in uh, 2023 on a bicycle and I made it. Given that I was away for about three months on holidays, um, I took a whole year off. So was on quite a few holidays and um, I was quite happy with it. And here we can see a good example. We have seen this, uh, if you're watching my videos before, we have seen this quite a lot, uh, this part. But now that I can aim the camera on both of them, I'll aim it to the windmill. One day it was uh, uh, moving, yesterday, uh, today it's not moving. But I will now move them over both. Although the horizon is, uh, is, uh, is uh, wrong on one of them. Our boat, <laughs> but you can see that you see a lot more of uh, of our uh, surroundings now that I can move the camera. Because now you can see if it goes straight, what actually the difference is. So I think it's a useful addition for the videos. Funny, I needed to pass uh, people at the same location, kind of. And in both cases, the camera drooped down, so I had to um, fix it again. And here's a good example of what the difference is in the, the position of the horizon. Again, I want to aim it to the uh, lower third of the picture. So you see that the horizon on the right one it's a little bit below um, the middle of the screen. And that's what I, I almost hit him. <laughs> yeah, of course, which is kind of interesting and people don't really watch, they just go. Which is something you have to get used to. I wouldn't say they don't watch, but they kind of assume that, um, not everybody, but some people kind of assume that you will take care of the situation which you most of the time will but again you can see if you are passing this bridge i think on both of the days i moved the camera to the left uh, sorry to the right but you can see on one of them i didn't so you can see the difference in point of view right you can see much more of the water and i think that's uh, yeah it adds a little bit to the video The downside is that uh, when I go around corners, you don't get this uh, sort of leaning into the corners effect. It's a kind of light uh, if the camera was fixed. And of course also the stabilization probably um, means that uh, the picture is a little bit less sharp. I'm not sure how much, I need to uh, do a better comparison. But the camera has to do more work to uh, get it to work. Although the mount yesterday, so the one that was uh, stabilized, was not as stable if that makes sense. It was bopping around quite a lot. Compared to the one that I made today. To, to, today I made a new one, uh, I 3D print them. And uh, this one is much more sturdy, so the camera doesn't uh, move as much. Um, and that means that the stabilization is easier for the camera. But you can see quite a difference in uh, what you can see if I move the camera in the correct uh, position. Which in the city is already nice, but I suspect when we are going out into nature, um, it will be even uh, uh, nicer that you can sort of look around a little bit. 
I guess almost got locked in here. But you can already see if the, the handles come into the picture. Sometimes you see that the one from yesterday uh, moved uh, a lot more than uh, so the, the brakes. Handles move a lot more than uh, on the one yesterday. So you can see how much uh, of the camera is actually moving. So you can here see the movement which I think um, I can make a little bit better. So of course if this is your first video here please watch uh, the uh, the other ones uh, and of course uh, provide feedback what you think about uh, uh, how these two compare but uh, this is not a, a normal video normally I would talk about what we are seeing what we are doing and not about the technology so again you see quite a difference in the way if the camera is uh, sagging down or not It's wet, so my brakes are uh, beeping again. So yesterday it was quite busy, even if it was cold and rainy. You see a lot of people uh, were around. It was also quite dark already, so that's also not that great for the camera picture. And here we are going on to the bicycle bridge, the famous uh, Daphne Schippers uh, bicycle bridge. So uh, the bike path goes over the roof of a school. And of course now I can aim the camera to the inside so you can actually see more of the school when I'm biking in the circle. And of course on the, the right one where the camera is sort of um, tilting, you can see the difference between what would happen. It almost looks like I'm bicycling on a racing bike. And if I do it in the reverse, now to the outside, I do it on both. You can see basically the the distortion uh, being compensated. So we're almost at the end of this uh, technical video. So again, please please provide uh, some feedback uh, for me, and also if you want other changes for next year. Oh, the audio, I did it from the internal uh, microphone of the camera, which is not what I normally do. And again, you can see how much more we can now see of the water. Normally, if you were looking uh, straight forward, you would not see that. So, I think on the right one, I'm now aiming forward. You can actually see the difference of what you can see. I guess, unless I move my hand in front of it to... Uh, fix the camera but tomorrow's uh, 3d version will be a uh, printed version will be better again I hope so the, the camera doesn't drop down so thank you for watching and uh, please provide feedback uh, what you think about the difference between the two videos bye bye